Let's talk a little bit of Packers today. But they're going to the second round of their OTAs, so yeah. I don't really understand OTAs. And I was actually, I like, I was coaching during the OTA situation, but basically, you know, as opposed to back in the day where you could you go there a handful of times. Uh, I'll start my camera again, AD. Sorry about that. But opposed to going to uh, going to the the facility a handful mm -hmm. of times for for mini camps and whatnot, they're basically there all the time. And then they do these things that are like official OTAs, which they're already on the field, but now they're on the field for like official practices. And yeah. I don't know if that means there's a heightened sense of awareness or it means like they can touch each other. They can have contact. I'm not really sure, but I know they're going to their second round of OTAs. They have a two day OTA period uh, today and tomorrow. And something that came out that said something to the effect, I think it was Rob Demosky, who was, you know, we know Robin, I think he works yep. for ESPN no, now, Rob. but he said something to the effect of, uh, uh, you know, the wide receivers are happy they're meshing with Jordan Love because, you know, they're they're generationally, they're the same age and they're the same spot Literally. in their life. Yeah. And I've, we've talked about this. I think that's a net good thing considering the fact that you've decided to, to go with Jordan Love. Yes. But I don't know if it's a newsworthy moment because – you still like we can we still have to gloss over the fact that you got rid of arguably the best quarterback in the National Football uh, League. Well, he right? wanted to get out of there. He yeah, wanted to go. yeah, but you, but but you get it's like you you go from uh you know top two quarterback in the league correct to we don't know to an unknown entity. So I guess when you're playing the when you're playing this, well, it's good that he has a he's got young guys he can mesh with game. But the other side of that is yeah. like we're acknowledging that they're not going to be that good. Right. Um. So. I suppose the question should be, would you rather be a friend to your quarterback or would you rather just play with the top two guy in the National Football League? <laughs> well, that's a tough question right there. Well, you, you know what I'm it, saying? It, you know it's, like, it's not. It's, it's not tough. Uh, for the mindset I was in, I want to be with the best quarterback out there. You'll find a way to be friends. Right, and find a way to be friends with him. Yeah. You know, yes. Um, and for... But as a you know, being in this situation, you have to go. I mean, obviously, you, you're 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 a starter. Anywhere touching the ball, uh, tight end, wide receiver, running back, Jordan guy, got to be your, your bestie here and, and for the rest of the year, basically, you know, as long as you're on that roster and supporting them and being genuine too, being real about it. Because then, obviously, he'll 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 sniff out. He's an athlete just like all of us. We know how to sniff out BS. We know how to f f sniff out for gazy people that is just kind of just here yes man in us and it's like no nah, man i don't need that i need people that that around me that's gonna say hey man you forgot that blitz pick up on this side hey just pay attention to that i'm on you know blah, 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 blah. i'm like that's making me better thank you all right cool well Got especially you. in this in this conversation because the quarterback distributes the ball to these other people yep. then it's like it's probably not the conversations are probably like how do you read that? How are you seeing that? How are you seeing the single, single, single safety high, the safety yep. rotation? How are you reading that cornerback's drop? Like all those kind of things. They can talk in there. So how do I say this the right way? Like in the short term, obviously Aaron Rodgers is the right decision. But if you're looking at the context, like if you put on your infinite your infinite glasses and you're trying to play the long game of your entire mm -hmm. career, mm -hmm. I, I do think there's a real genuine value to being in the same spot as your quarterback. Yeah. Being able to be the same, like you're at the same status in life, not you're in the same status in the, in the organization. You still have something to prove, but you're learning. And I, well, the one thing that um, can be really good is to have a mentor in the building. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you're, if your wide receivers are coming in and their mentor happens to be their quarterback, boy, that's really, that's an amazing thing. That wasn't the case right. at all. Right. It wasn't the case with Brett. And it wasn't, yeah. it doesn't sound, I wasn't there, but it looks, sounds like it wasn't the case with Aaron. And I don't think that's a negative on either one of them. That's just the reality of the situation. If you're 15 years older than these kids that are coming in, like you it could did. be a mentor, but you also got your, you also have other stuff that you want to deal with. You want to win in the moment. It's like, that's not what I'm here for anymore. Mentors, a lot of people think about AG, they're like, you're a mentor when you're the last couple of years in your league and maybe you're hanging your on. Career. Yeah. You're not the or career, sorry. But you're you're you're, you're kind of you're hanging on. You're not quite the guy anymore. But Aaron's the guy. Like yeah. we're trying to win right now. And so this could be long term. I think a very very positive thing. It's just let's not. We have to create some some narratives right now that they're not going to be like a, a seven or eight team win. They're probably going to be a seven or eight team win. Correct. I mean, and to that point of the talent and the uh, relationship thing is, you know, when you have that talent, sometimes is is that talent in the mindset of helping every, uh, everybody around him mm -hmm. and what his options are, how to do that. Because we, if we watch, we watch, we watch sports for a long time. 
So we saw a guy by the name of Michael Jordan when he got to that team, how he made the talent around him, why he how he pushed buttons mm -hmm. uh, certain ways. A lot of a lot of greats do that. Some were he was right in people's faces, going after them, you know, telling them, checking them practice. So, you know, to each of his own is Jordan Love going to be that guy where eventually once, once he gets to know him, then he'll start you know messing with him. But then he could dig in hard on hard questions and hard uh, feedback to say, hey, man, on that route, you should have did this and that. I'm not a wide receiver, but this is what I know when I've seen guys run these routes where so and so threw the ball and it was right there on, on the timing. So just letting you know. So having those conversations to make everybody around him better. I know for those young receivers, that is a, a big thing because obviously he's the new guy coming in after Aaron has uh, exited to then now say, okay, this is the guy. It, it helps as we already experienced. It helps us being one or two years apart, not 15 years apart. It's a big difference. 